Hello, bonjour, good day. How are you, my great two learners? Oh, I hope you're well. I know you enjoyed the holiday so much. But let us just, I've told you this week we are not going to strain ourselves. We just want to review what we've been doing in grade ones, doing numbers in symbols. We want to sing, we want to enjoy ourselves, we want to skip the rope. It's your teacher announcer. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Have you seen the way grade two is very easy? Have you seen the way grade two is very, 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 very easy? Huh? Uh, some of you have even telling me, teacher, we finished this work in grade one. Very good. We finished in grade one, yes. But again, we are here in grade two. Okay. So we did, yesterday we did numbers. Which numbers did we do? Teacher, we did numbers one to 50. What about today? Today is our favorite day. We are adding 50. We are now counting from 50 onwards until we reach number 70. Wow, who can remind me what I told you yesterday when you're writing numbers? First, you must know the tens. And when you wrote the tens here, we started with zero. Then we come to ten, counting in tens. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So the next number after fifty is Remember, these are the original numbers we had. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you add a 0, becomes 70. 8. Then we went to 9. But now we did up to 50. Now, who can help us? We said you only add the number you have in the tens. The tens plus the 1, you get the number. If I add 60 plus 1, what number am I supposed to get? You're going to get 61. Very good. What if I add 50 plus 1? I'm going to get 51. What about 50 plus 2? Yes, Oscar? 52. Very good. And 50 plus 3? 53. Teacher, you know I wrote all the numbers up to number 100 during the holiday. Very good. Well done, you. You did it. So we get 54. Then after that, we have 55. We have 56. 57. 58. 59. And now the next number in the tens, we are counting in tens. After 50, you go to 60. Very good. And we said, when I add a 60 plus 1, what do we get? 61. What about a 60 plus 2? 60 plus 2, you will get 62. 60 plus 3, you get 63. What of 60 plus 4? 60 plus 4, we get a 64. Then 60 plus 5 is 65. Have you seen my numbers? The ones in the plus value are just in the ones plus value. And the ones in the tens plus value are in the tens plus value. So we have when it's 6, it's a 66. Then 60 plus 7 gives us 67. 60 plus 8 will give us 68. And 60 plus 9 will give us 69. So which number is in the tens plus value there? We have 60 plus 1, it gives you 61. What about 69 plus 1? 69 plus 1 gives us the next number, counting in tens, which is 70. Are we together? Any question up to there? Any question up to there, my little girls and boys? No. Now, so if you're told Find the missing numbers. Numbers between 50 and six and 70. Is there a problem there? Anybody who feels like there is a problem? I've been told, fill in the missing number. This is dash. This is 53, 54, 55. And then I also receive another dash. Who can help us do that? Yes, Janet. So what will be the number? This is 3. This is 4 and this is 5. 
So we are saying, what is the number before three? That is the number that is behind number three. It is two. So meaning the number, missing number here is 52. Then we go 52, 53, 54, 55. And what is the number after five? After five, which number do I get? I get a 56. So if I was to count, I will say 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56. That one gives me my missing number. Now I have another one here. Another one starts here. 61, 62. Then I have dash. I have 64, 65, and a dash. So what am I supposed to do here? Again, I look at my numbers. We said the numbers that are going to help us are, remember, if this number is the same, don't even bother to look for it. Just write it automatically, it's a six. So which number it gives on, it keeps on changing? The number in the ones plus value. So if we have one ones, two ones, the next number will be three ones. I continue, 64, 65. Now, the number in the tens plus value will not change. Which number is changing? It is the number in the ones plus value. So if I had one, two, three, four, five. So which one will be my next number? My next number will be six. And that one makes me the missing number as 66. Any problem? Any question up to there? Now, during your own free time, can you fill in the missing numbers here? The missing numbers here is 24, 25, 26. We have a two dashes. Then here I have 58, 59, 60, and I again have two dashes. And the last one tells me 61, 62, dash, dash, then 65. So when you go home, make sure with the help of your parents, I've said you check if the number will change, if the number in the tens place value will change, make sure you change. This one is not the same as this one. Why? This one is not the same as this one. Why? Because this one, the number in the tens place value will not change. But for this one, at one particular point, the number in the tens place value will change. Okay? So can you be very careful with things like those ones? Otherwise, I hope you have enjoyed the lesson and we're looking forward to continue writing numbers and symbols up to 100. Thank you very much and I wish you a lovely day.